Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Coin Purse. Today we're taking a look at Production Line. Uh, we're going to build our own car factory. Let's jump right in. A uh, couple different missions you can pick from based on the size of the factory. And these can get pretty big. Um, for right now, we will just do a free play on the small one, which is actually uh, a lot of room, um, as you'll see once we jump into it. Let's take a look. So I said you'd be building your own car factory, so that means everything from beginning with the chassis all the way to quality control and exporting to your showroom. So we can select a logo here. Uh, Positech is actually the company that uh, is making this game. It is one guy, Cliff Harris. Um, he has been in the industry for a long time, and he's made a couple games like uh, Democracy Series and um, the uh, man. I can't remember the other game. I apologize. I will put that in the notes. Let's just do this one. We will just call it KP Auto. Sure, that works. Okay, this is our factory. So this is the part that we're obviously going to start in. Um, we can unlock these uh, at a cost, obviously, and it depends on the size that they are. Um, so let's jump right in. You know what? I'm going to pause it. So we got a couple different things that we're looking at here. Um, this area, you can zoom in pretty far too is where your research scientists are going to go. So, let's just put them in there before I forget. So, we're going to put in a couple here. You can see they got the little guys with their whiteboards and computers, lab coats. That's pretty cool. Uh, if we jump into research, there are two main categories if you will there are processes and then there's also technologies so technologies is going to be the different things that you can uh, install on the cars so for example safety features analog brakes reversing camera tire pressure etc etc so there's a bunch of stuff on here um, you know the more research stations if you will the quicker it'll go However, that's going to cost you more money. So you got to kind of balance that. Um, I don't want to get this just yet. There's also processes. So uh, each um, section, so let's go back a sec. So each part in the build process is separated here. Um, so for example, if we click on chassis production, or symbol, chassis assembly, I should say. Um, we get this little thing, and we'll place that down in a sec. But as you go along, you can actually start producing the other parts um, as you unlock them in here. So for example, chassis specialization, uh, instead of bringing this and buying this from a supplier you can bring this in-house and that's going to save you some cost and some time um, so right now we don't have any of this as you can see it unlocks all this stuff so the first one the top here is axle specialization so if we go back here that's what that is right so it doesn't actually have that it's locked yet so just kind of lay that out there um, the first thing we need to do though these are how we bring materials into the factory. And then the blue one is how we export our cars to the floor, to the showroom floor, and sell them, make a profit. So first we're going to get an import, an import. These are pretty cool. So let's just set this up. We'll get one going here to the chassis first. Alright, so here we go, we got the little robot arms, little dudes with the hard hats, 
um, the uh, Positech Games has said that they are adding uh, more animations down the road. Um, obviously, I have the game paused right now, but you'll see that it does move along. It looks quite nice um, with everything. So, uh, as you zoom out, the different parts of your factory are color coordinated. So you can see here that this, uh, I guess, magenta um, is right here. So, you know, if we were to put in another one, another section of the factory, um, I always like to leave some room in case I gotta add more on. So if we put that there, zoom out, you can see that that's green. It's kind of green here too. Um, and then if you mouse over it, you can actually see what that particular station is doing. Uh, my goal for this is I'm going to kind of swoop it back here and export right here. Uh, you know what, before I forget though, let's... There is one for more robots. That's what I want. Okay, you guys researching that. Okay. So, since I started the game now, we actually have an error, which is nice and red, throws it in your face. So you can see here our stockpiles are empty. So what we need to do is to connect our import thing via these rails. And what you'll see is it's going to swoop in and deposit the things we need. So here's the first point in our production. You can see that right now we're producing a basic sedan. Uh, it gives you the time it's going to take uh, the top is the total for the station, and then the bottom is kind of the each segment of it, if you will. Gives you the efficiency, um, extra robots, obviously it's going to increase that efficiency, and so on, and so forth. And then, uh, once we have that, we can connect. As the chassis goes along, it's going to go to the next station which is the body. So now these robots are going to do that, and we have all the supplies right here. So... Uh, and then I'm actually going to put two paint stations, because paint seems to be an area that takes longer. Let's do that. Hook up the See the bodies come along. No, that's not what I want. Okay, let's stop right there. Go one more down. I will also bring you over here. Okay. Now we need some more conveyors. It's always good to have a couple paths to get there in case one's bogged down. There's our paint cans coming in. Very cool. There's our first one. Oh, it's done. It's moving along. There we go. Working on some painting now. After the paint, we are going to fit our engine. Uh, so what we can do, we can actually bring it back into one. So let's do that right now. Alright, there we go. I'm going to set these all up and then I will uh, put the other one. Accessories. I'm going to fit the electronics. Got to have quality check. Let's start turning this bad boy. Like that. And then our export. Okay. See, the painting is still going. do actually let's put another import down here so it doesn't so the pieces don't have to travel nearly as far 
What are you doing? Really? So you can see up here, uh, the little research thing is filling up. Um, it's just going to take a while. I need some conveyors. Whoops. Went the wrong way. We are on free play. Lots of graphs. Graphs are always good. Um, so up here, this is our car stock and our sales. So if we co go over there, we'll see um, how many we have on the showroom. So we haven't exported any yet, so it's not going to show up just yet. And that, <coughs> excuse me, you can see here that there are... Um, different segments to your marketing or to the market that you're selling to so right now we're making a budget sedan um, and it says we're not producing enough to satisfy this demand uh, so we want to increase production um, and eventually we'll move on down the road to get to luxury and go from there but there are a whole number of different kinds of things that you can unlock as far as type of car so sports car we have SUVs we have trucks compacts and off-road was not a red one in front did we sell one hmm. and here's here's what we got here uh, we can increase the price to kind of bring it up to the uh, to the next um, market point, I guess. So mid-range, you know, if we were to oops, you know, increase this, you'll see right there on the bottom here that this will change to mid-range. So let's leave it at that for now. Okay. Quality check. Looks good. Ooh, these guys are the suits, so you know they're important. There we go. Oh, we, we have one car. It's going to sell for 21000 And we will see uh, how quickly that's going to sell. Customers have viewed 21. Wrong body style. Insufficient features. Uh oh. So maybe let's reduce the price a little bit more. Man, almost 50 people. Poor value for the money. There, someone bought it. We did it. <laughs> okay. So we almost researched more robots. So that should help us. Upgrade fit front bumper and 45 others. Yikes choose next research project. So, we did more robots. We can do even more robots. Let's do improved efficiency. And what we can do now is we can go to this one here. Oops. I don't want the 
vehicle details here. So we grab the module or the station, which will show us what we can upgrade. Extra robots. We're gonna buy them all. Upgrade all slots. You can see it added two more arms on each side of each station that has robots. So that should increase uh, our efficiency and all of that good stuff. Make steel sheets. Wow. Okay. So we still don't have any of this unlocked yet. the idea here so we're gonna see what else we can do um, you know what since it's free play why don't we just we don't have any money issues so let's just add a bunch let's go faster can I, can I control click Hopefully, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Energy produced and consumed. Uh, okay. So is that what this does? I wonder what that does though. Once we get that, let's find out. Is there a search feature here? Ew. Performance, entertainment. Let's see. Advanced production. Oh wow, it even goes over too. I didn't notice that. Must just help with our efficiency, I guess. What does this do? Research center. Nice. Did this pause or something? Why isn't that completing? There you go. Okay, we did it. So, faster conveyors. That's interesting. Before I'm allowed to unlock anything. Okay. Huh. Is that new? I didn't notice that last time. It's pretty cool. So what's the hold up here? Why am I... So where... Let's see. Wow, man, this breaks it down crazy. Where does it show, though? Boom. You know what? I forgot that he added this. So there's a blueprint mode now. You can use this mode for planning out your changes to your line without actually making them. By placing down zero cost blueprints as slots you wish to place. When you're happy with the changes, you can then buy all the blueprints as slots in one go. Right clicking on a blueprint deletes it from the map. This is awesome. Because as you get, well, it's kind of hard to see on this one, but as you get, you know, into the huge factories, this is going to become key. Not only to see what each station you have, but if you're able to lay out your factory at zero cost before deciding to buy it, to actually buy it or not, that's awesome. Very cool. I 
guys. I like that. I have to give that a shot. Okay, okay, I gotcha. So, well, let's just do even more robots then. Where does it say how many cars I've actually sold? I didn't see it on the graph. Vehicle production is two. Components. Wait, actually, what are people saying? Insufficient features. Wrong body style. What does that mean? What kind of body do you want? Brand awareness, right, because I don't have any marketing, that makes sense. stuff. Let's increase that so we can That's bothering me though that I can't check unless I'm just dumb and it's staring me in the face here but like how many You know what I mean? Like how do I see how many I've sold? Tell me game. Oops. Six uh, robots on each station now. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Requirements met. Car sold ten. I've done it. I've done it, y'all. Let's get some safety features going, shall we? Their families safe. Gotta have preventative measures in the car. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wait, where was it? So I need engine. Okay. So I want to start making a better car for my customers. So painting is 34 minutes. There we go. Do wheels. These guys just look like they're saluting each other. Get back to work. We don't even need you, we have robots. Robots will rule the world. There we go. Anti-lock brakes. So, I know there's a way to do it where... Oh, here we go, new. Oh, damn! Wow. Just 
stop stop blinking at me fit power train jeez look at all this stuff well are these like tinier too yeah so they're they're real small I guess we should start a new line then, right? Let's do blueprints. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. We'll do chassis. Oh, you know, let's start over here, right? Green is. Hang on. Green is bring them in. Blue is out, right? Yeah. We're gonna start. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, and then I can just smack that buy button. Okay. Nice. I don't know if this is... So what happens if I... Okay, just delete it like that. Okay, very nice. I want to unlock some more stuff, though. I guess that doesn't matter. Okay, let's, let's just do this, then. Chassis. So do I need... So these all make up the engine, so do I need this one too? Well, let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna slam these together. guy sedan brakes <laughs> it's perfect plenty of analog brakes yeah buddy Ooh, tire pressure sensors spare wheel that's probably important I'm just gonna go on down the road, down the line here. In the meantime. Gratuitous space battles. That's the other game that he's made. <laughs> I posit that games is made, I believe. I was trying to remember it this whole time, I did it. Um, they've also published, well, I should, I say they, it's one guy, um, they he published, uh, Big Pharma, um, by, uh, Twice Circle Games, I want to say, um, about running your own pharmaceutical company, so, they've been around doing their thing, um, I'm liking this game a lot, uh, it's a lot of fun so far, let's do... Spare wheel. And besides free play, um, they have the regular mode where you can play against AI. 
Um, and then they have scenarios where you can uh, kind of compete with AI to, or with yourself. Um, I believe some are, are time-based, meaning, you know, sell this kind of car, or sell this many in, you know, 10 days or what have you, or get to this amount of money in three months or whatever. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of options um, for the player. And uh, Cliff Harris, uh, Cliffsky on Twitter, um, he actually puts out a weekly dev blog uh, on his YouTube channel, um, kind of go over, going over the things that he, he tweaked, added, deleted uh, during the week. Um, those are pretty interesting to see. Um, and he wears a yellow construction hat, much like his factory workers here. So, it's a pretty good video. A uh, series of videos. I would, I would recommend checking it out. Train. What is this? Chassis assembly. Right, the new cruise on over. Oh, what am I doing? Yep, I completely. Well, we're moving right along on this, though. Let's do. Gotta have air conditioning. went straight from chassis to engine. Well, we're not there yet, so let's slow it down, shall we? Production schedule. I want you to make like this. line that should be okay I don't remember what it, do I need to just do this I don't know Okay. 
So let's see if that's gonna work for us. Five. Turns red, so we know it's there. Need a couple things. So far, moving right along. Air conditioning. We can do climate control. So, did I do this right? I guess we'll see. Because I don't know if I have to put the main. So we did do it. Next slot not connected. So it's, we have it then. So we don't need to actually put in the engine. assembly. Got that. Fit steering assembly. I guess that's next. Fit steering assembly. Oh, I got it. That's weird. That's not showing up. You know, it doesn't say fit steering assembly. Whatever. units and conveyor nope fit wind screen uh I don't have the wind screen so you're saying this doesn't work that's interesting okay Screen, huh? Driver assistance, environmental. Is that, is that this? Roof manufacturer. Paint engine accessories. Was that was that in the windshield as an accessory? So that should be under accessory set, right? I don't know. is probably a good place to stop for now guys this video is getting a little long um, again this is production line by Postech, and uh, I'm liking it a lot and I'm liking that he's very involved with the game and uh, getting out new content pretty regularly so um, you 
can find this on Steam. Um, and you can follow uh, Cliffski on Twitter, Cliff Harris. He is the creator, again. And you can follow me on Twitter at CoinPurse. And I hope you like what you saw. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Take care.